Good morning, everyone. This is Sonia with Real Talk Radio here with the thought of the day for today, Tuesday, March 31st. And for this one, I chose a Bible verse that I hope will help build our faith and also help us with any anxiety we might be experiencing. And it's Psalm 138, verse 8. Uh, This is from the New King James Version, which says, The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. And as I like to do, I checked out commentaries and I found one that I thought was pretty good. And I was just going to share part of the commentary here for us. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. God is concerned in all that concerns his servants. He will see to it that none of their precious things shall fail of completion. Their life, their strength, their hopes, their graces, their pilgrimage shall each and all be perfected. Jehovah himself will see to this, and therefore it is most sure. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. The refrain of the former psalm is in his ears, and he repeats it as his own personal conviction and consolation. The first clause of the verse is the assurance of faith, and this second one reaches to the full assurance of understanding. God's work in us will abide unto perfection, because God's mercy toward us thus abideth. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Our confidence does not cause us to live without prayer, but encourages us to pray all more. Since we have it written upon our hearts that God will perfect his work in us, and we see it also written in scripture that his mercy changeth not. With holy earnestness entreat that we may not be forsaken. If there be anything good in us, it is the work of God's own hands. Will he leave it? Why has he wrought so much in us if he means to give us up? It will be a sheer effort. He who has gone so far will surely persevere with us to the end. Our hope for the final perseverance of the believer lies in the final perseverance of the believer's God. If the Lord begins to build and does not finish, it will not be his honor. He will have a desire to the work of his hands, for he knows it has cost him already, and he will not throw away a vessel upon which he has expended so much of labor and skill. Therefore do we praise him with our whole heart." And that's the end of what I wanted to share from the commentary. And I just wanted to add that that brought to mind um, another scripture for me, Matthew 6, verse 21. This is from the NIV which says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And so the more we invest in something, the more valuable it becomes to us. And so I really believe that is faith building and helpful, hopefully in diminishing anxiety for us when, um, you know, we think about how much God has invested and continues to invest in us and in his creation. We are the workmanship of his hands, and as the scripture says, he will not forsake the work of his hands. Okay, guys, that is pretty much what I had on my heart to share this morning, and I do hope it's a good reminder for us just just to take a moment and reflect on the awesome reality that we are the workmanship of God's hands, and that you know, as we think about his passionate investment in us, that, you know, it will hopefully help us know in our hearts just how valuable we really are to God. And, um, okay, guys, well, that that is pretty much what I had to share. So I want to thank you as always for joining me. And I do hope everyone has um, a blessed and wonderful day today. And I look forward to being back with you again tomorrow morning with another thought of the day.